I just did that because you thought it was funny yesterday. But anyways, I have another conundrum. First, Emma, she's better. I read some of your responses, and she gets it. She's ready to listen to the vocabulary and understand that numbers matter, and you can't just pick the bigger number. So thank you for clarifying that. But now I have a new issue. Trevor, who is on Module 12, too, and knows everything that you need to know in fifth grade, of course, not that any of you would act like that, but he has a problem like this. 26 hundredths divided by 4. And guess how he answers it? Mom, this is easy. It's an improper fraction. 6. No, Trevor, it's not 6. And you can't do it in your head. Nolan, you'll understand this. The kid always wants to do it in his head. If he would just take the time to divide it out, he would realize it isn't that simple. Yes. I'm proud of him that he knows that this looks like an improper fraction, but he's not right. So please, take a peek and explain to Trevor why you can't just take 4 and divide it into 26 hundredths and come out with the whole number 6. And then, if you wouldn't mind, can you please explain to him why it's important to show your work. Doing it in your head only leads to frustration from your teacher. So, I'm only giving you five minutes for this one. I know how you guys write, but do what you can in five minutes. Use your words to, to show what you know, and please clarify for Trevor. We know that this clearly is not six holes. Good luck.